My name is Linda Tropp. I'm a psychology professor at the University of Massachusetts in the Department of Psychological and Brain Sciences. Most of my research is on intergroup relations, which generally refers to how members of different groups do get along, don't get along, feel about each other, feel about sh living in a shared society. Uh, so a lot of the work that I do tends to focus on contact between those groups. What happens when members of those different groups interact with each other? How do they feel about their interactions? What are the outcomes of their interactions? How do they feel about how each group is treated in our society? Things like that. And I can tell you uh, there have been hundreds of studies on intergroup contact in particular in the research literature over the last many decades. Uh, what I did with uh, Tom Pettigrew, another social psychologist, we did what's called a meta-analysis where we combined the data from more than 500 of these studies that were conducted between the 1940s and the year 2000, which included over 250,000 people from 38 different countries. And when we pool all those data together, what we pretty clearly see is that greater contact between groups, regardless of whether we're talking about racial groups, ethnic groups, religious groups, or other types of groups, that the more contact those groups have with each other, the less prejudice they feel toward each other. And we've also seen a lot of new information coming out about why contact is so effective in reducing prejudice. And part of why contact reduces prejudice is because of these emotional processes that emerge when we develop close relationships with members of other groups. That on the one hand, we start to feel less anxious or threatened by group difference, so we feel more comfortable in interactions with them. And at the same time, the more contact we have with them, the more able we are and the more willing we are to empathize with them and care about their concerns. So a lot of the work that we've been doing has really been focusing on how we can think about intergroup contact as a strategy to promote psychological investment in other people, have them be included in our realm of moral concern. Um, and so what we see now is there's many different studies in both in the United States and in different parts of the world that use interventions based on this type of work on intergroup contact trying to see how getting groups together for meaningful exchanges with each other can reduce prejudice and kind of alleviate intergroup tension. So there have been studies uh, looking at youth within the United States that do this type of work, getting them to get to know each other, really understand each other's perspectives. And this type of work has also been applied in many international contexts, such as in Northern Ireland or South Africa, where perhaps there are Protestants and Catholics that have legacies of conflict in relation to each other, or blacks and whites in South Africa dealing with these legacies of conflict. More recently, similar types of programs have been used in Rwanda and Bosnia-Herzegovina uh, to try to get youth from different groups whether they're ethnic groups, religious groups, where there's these deeply entrenched group differences to really reach out across those group boundaries and try to understand where the other group is coming from a bit more. And these types of studies are showing that we're not only seeing reductions in prejudice or more positive attitudes, but we're seeing a greater tendency to trust the other group and a greater willingness for the people involved in that contact to work toward reconciliation themselves. So overall, we're seeing an incredible amount of growth in this type of research uh, that she seems to be leading to lots of different types of positive outcomes to improve relations between groups overall.